Hello and welcome to our home here in Brittany on this misty early autumn morning. If you're here for the first time, my name is Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera and we are early retirees. We're debt and mortgage free and we live a thrifty and frugal life and share it with you. Take a look at what we've been up to this week. here today. Once in a while I share a week in our life, the things that we get up to and that's what we've done this week. We've had a week at home, we've been painting the house, working in the garden, I've been cooking, Mike's been building the barn, all that kind of thing. If you like to follow people who live a really thrifty life on a very low budget, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Really, really love it if you enjoy this video, that you hit the like button. You know what, I love it when you ask me a question or leave a message for me or leave a comment and I always reply. Enjoy the video. I'm on a blackberry hunt. The very first few blackberries are starting to ripen. You can't see them, can you? Not with the camera, but I can. I can see them here. I'm panning slowly. I can see the brambles down the river and that side. I'll pick those when I get some welly boots on because right now I have walking shoes on because I am going in there full of brambles so if it's full of brambles it'll be full of blackberries so I'm on my first blackberry hunt it's the 30th of August we're up in the north of France it's a bit early for blackberries but I can see the first few. It's the last day of August. I've just got to keep going with this. On average, in the past, we've spent around 800 euros a year on wood. This year, we will be spending zero euros on wood. Because all of this wood and this wood in here is split by our big machine there. And it's in here and it's going to be, it's been processed. I then throw it out of this window into this woodshed and I'll be stacking it over there. We need to process and stack and get in the dry. In our wood shelter we need to get four cubic meters of wood. So it's three, six, nine, twelve square meters of wood. We've got it, we've just got to get it stacked, split and stacked. And boom! One empty shed, one where we process it is now empty and it is all now here. And I just have to stack it there. Wood nil, frugal queen one.
Monday night and we have sticky pork with rice, carrots and peas. It's Tuesday night at our house and we're having minestrone soup. It's Wednesday night and here is tonight's supper. It is simply steamed cauliflower, cheese sauce, and some crispy bacon pieces on top and we'll have some crusty bread with that. A very simple dinner tonight. It's Friday night and we have lasagna. It's quite difficult to video lasagna. So no matter how hard you try, it tends to slip off the spatula. There we go. Lasagna and salad. I haven't shared a shopping trip, a shopping haul in a while. I spent 92 euros for the UK GB price, you take off 15%. For the US dollar price, you add on 20%. So 92 euros for everything you can see here. I bought some gluten-free bread rolls to have with my soup tonight. Two big loaves of sliced bread. Five half baguettes, marmalade, semi skim milk, dog food, sparkling water. They didn't have any supermarket owned brand. I had to get the crystalline, so that's about 29 cents a bottle. I got long grain rice and dessert rice. You might be interested in this. In the UK we call this squash, you mix it with water. So there's black currant and iced tea. I then got laundry liquid, washing up liquid, shampoo and conditioner. This might be interesting as well. This is fabric conditioner. It comes in soft refills fabric conditioner. This was a branded one and this one today was cheaper than the supermarket's own. I then got six bars of soap for washing us in the shower. Uh, sunflower spread. Grated cheese. Again, I checked the price. It was cheaper than the block. 50 uh, dishwashing tablets. Two euros too, it's quite cheap here. And then this is lardons, which is chopped up pieces of smoked bacon. Uh, ham, as you can see here, nice slices of ham. British chocolate biscuits, sabon gliss. Speckaloose biscuits, what have I got in here? Ginger and chilies and garlic. I'm going to make a ginger, chilli and garlic chutney that I use in spicy food. Then what else did I get? Coffee. Tomato puree. These are desserts for Mike. You can see the like whipped cream at the top, one's coffee and one's chocolate. Then we've got eggs, lettuce and tomatoes. The cabbages were terrible, I didn't buy those. The cucumbers were terrible, I didn't buy those. I will look in the local supermarket for those. 
Then I did get two absolute bargains. I did see I often have meat on my list, but today I didn't. So if we look here, this is two pork shoulder joints. And we've got 288 a kilo. 288 a kilo. So two pork shoulder joints for six euros. That's amazing. And I will slow cook these to make pulled pork or barbecue pork or sticky pork. And this, it looks like it's the ribs, doesn't it? The pork ribs. But it's a bit different, I'll just put it on its side to show you if I can. So if you imagine if you're in America and you buy the pork ribs, but they would cut the meat off it to make your bacon. Well here we have the pork ribs and I'll show you that. Ah, there you are. And the meat on it. And that's from the belly of the pig. So this is belly pork. And it's got the skin attached to the bottom of it. And I will rub this with, rub it with salt, uh, sear the skin, like slice through the skin, and do a whole um, belly pork roast with that. And that I paid five euros 20 a kilo. So 7.20 for that. So that was a bit more expensive, but this was my bargain. Absolute bargain today at 2.88 a kilo. So there it is, my shopping. It was a lot today. Things that are expensive, I buy about once a month. So these are about two euros each. The soap's about two euros. Laundry liquids about four euros and so on. And you can see how those all add up. Let's step back and show you that. There you go. My top up shop, lots for the cleaning cupboard, meat for the freezer, bread for the freezer, drinks that we dilute, and things like chilies and ginger, which are very expensive, but I make a big chutney with, and I use that for spicing things like the pulled pork. There you go. That's this week's shopping haul, 92 euros. Lots that will go away for weeks on end. So for example, the dishwash tablets will last two months. The laundry liquid will last two months. So lots of things that are expensive will last us. There you are, that's my shopping haul. It's a beautiful sunny Thursday morning and I have the joyous job of going to the Deschetterie. an exciting job for the day. Everything's taken to the the chatterie, the recycling centre. Some countries you put things out on the curb by your house. Uh, here in France we don't do that. We take our recycling to the chatterie. It's big trucks here at the moment picking skips and things away and almost everything here gets recycled. <laughs> So today Mike's been out here and painted all the back of the house. The back of our house is the roadside. It's looking very posh. There it is. 
take you on a little tour. This uh, flat roof extension here, this bit here is our kitchen. And then round to here. And we've got one coat of paint on here as well. It's looking lovely. Welcome to the garden. Mike is up scaffold, scaffolding, finishing the last of the painting of the last wall. It's looking great. Let's go show you, there it is. So there he is, up there, painting away. Mike, give everybody a wave. <laughs> It's really progressing really well. We hired the scaffold, so that's a cost. We bought the paint, that's a cost. Bike, no cost. So it saved us loads of money by painting the house ourselves. Sorry, car just going by. Jaybirds are squawking and fighting. So we'll go here today. Well, there you go. That was our week here in France and I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for dropping by. You're always welcome. And what else is always welcome is if you want to ask me a question. Because I know some of you might be here for the very first time and might be thinking, how do you do this? How do you do that? So go ahead, leave a question. Another thing, what have you been up to this week that's oh so thrifty and frugal that you want to share with everybody here? Just leaves me to say, I'll see you again very soon and goodbye for now.